Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Andre Drummond. Um, Drummond is not good. I'm going to kind of preface this whole video by saying that. I think they gave him like a 43 three ball or something like that. He's not going to be able to shoot the ball. This card is not good. I will preface the video by saying that. But he is a free Ascension reward. I think there are people out there who would like to see an Andre Drummond gameplay. So we're going to do one anyway. Though regardless of the fact that the card itself is not a very good card. Before we wrap up the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily My Team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. I've uploaded more con more My Team content than anybody else in the community this year. So again, would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into Andre Drummond. Six 11 at center, 98 offense, 99 defense with a 98 driving lamp, uh, 67 mid range, and a 43 three ball. There you go. You don't really need to look at anything else. Don't use them. But 98 standing, 98 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 88 pass accuracy defensively, absolutely phenomenal. Elite level rebounder, good speed for a center, 98 vert strength, stamina, 92 lateral quickness. Like a great looking guard. He just can't shoot the ball at all. He's got all the Hoff interior badges in the world, from the dunking badges to the defensive badges, even the perimeter badges like clamps, interceptor, that type of stuff. Got Hoff whistle, blow by speed booster. I mean, he's a super complete, super good big who has literally no shooting capability whatsoever. And that massively limits the quality of this card. There is one way to play with him effectively, and that is to use him as a screener and a roller literally every single play. That is the only way in which Andre Drummond is halfway usable on the offensive end of the court at this point in the year. Non-shooting bigs will get you entirely played off the court uh, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Now, his release, funnily enough, is actually not that bad. It's honestly relatively smooth and pretty fast. It's just that his uh, ratings are so bad that it almost doesn't matter if he had a it's actually a very quick release if i'm shooting all slightly late if he had a uh, three ball rating he'd actually be kind of nice because I, I haven't greened with him yet but once i do uh, i think i'm actually there you go i mean it's it's super quick i'm not gonna lie his release is so quick he just can't shoot like so i don't know what i'm supposed to do with that because super quick release is great but i have a 40 through three ball so like there's nothing i can do with that unfortunately if this card had an 85 mid-range 73 ball he'd be actually like pretty good because he does everything else really well on the court he's super athletic he's got pretty good size good wingspan uh obviously an elite level rebounder and defender it's just there's a lack of there's a lot complete lack of shooting ability that holds him back a lot i think um so I don't know. Pistons Andre Drama was a pretty good player, man. And I think he was overrated at times um, and then became a little bit underrated. And I don't know. He had an interesting impact on the NBA for a few years there. Andre Drummond. I'm excited to use the card. I enjoyed watching him in his prime. I don't know if he's going to be very good. I don't think he's going to be. But I think we can at least put up a decent performance because of his athleticism, his speed, and his like defensive ability. So let's hop into a game. See what Andre Drummond can do. Luckily, our opponent's team isn't very good. He's got... Pink Diamond Steph, Opal D. Wade, and then Mikhail Bridges at the three, um, Luke Longley at the four, and Diamond Bam at the five. What a strange, bad team, honestly. Um, I do think Andre Drummond should actually have a pretty good game here, quite simply because my opponent's team isn't good. He just got fouled on a three-ball first possession, but definitely nothing about that possession showed me a player who's going to be super good. So, honestly, that's a good thing for a Drummond gameplay because going up against an elite-level player, they're probably just going to paint sit him on, on him every single play, and it's going to be relatively tough to score, especially with him and his gameplay. And obviously, I want to score with Andre Drummond if I can. He is really, really good as a dunker. He is a very good role man. He is a very athletic card. And obviously, defensively, he's pretty elite as well with very good speed like he does a lot of things well he just he's 6 11 he's not he's not able to shoot the ball at all like he's, he can only play center and he can't play center really he, he just can't play because there's lack of shooting ability that's just honestly the truth but it is what it is let's run the floor throw it over to larry larry catch back door mr drummond drummond catch dunk beautiful that's a good start honestly not bad at all um drummond with four quick points um on dunks and let's play some defense here on mikhail bridges stay in front click on a contest this dude has no idea how to dribble he's just running around in circles he catches the ball and runs around um walk back okay he actually kind of created well no he didn't i lied drummond with the board fly in there and get yourself one andre drummond obviously one of the best rebounders really that we think we've pretty much ever seen so definitely um should be getting a lot of boards in this game slip the screen mr Dr oh we didn't get that one either that's tough get back stay in front he's gonna try to go up with wade but we do a good job there and drummond comes in and vacuums up a board there we go he's stat padding just like in real life quick slip the screen drum and catch drum and dunk attack the mismatch and you know what it's looking just like real life andre drummond racking up the stats points and rebounds so far to start out this game steal for sga sga is just 
That card is stupid, bro. This Dark Matter SGA is the dang best. Attack the Ram. I could low key, I could obviously have taken that with SGA, but we're going right back to this back door. We're getting in the post. We're going post work with Mr. Okay, look at the post hook. I filled that meter up too, and they said very early. Okay, come on, man. I mean, I know I know it was contested, but that was as full of a meter as it's gonna get. Terrible shot, board, Drummond, stat pad. Let's go. Run the floor, Mr. Drummond. Attack downhill, crossover. Hop step through, go up, why not? Oh my goodness, John J. Drummond dunks it home. I did not expect him to dunk that. I thought I was gonna go up with a layup and probably miss it, uh, but he goes up and dunks it. That was a very nice dunk. Love to see that, Mr. Andre, very, very good. He's got eight and three, like I said. He's a stat pattern, get another board. Come on, Andre, eight and four. Let's freaking go, this is fun. This card is not good against a good opponent at all, but against a bad opponent, he's usable, and that's kind of fun. Eight points, four rebounds, one assist so far in two and a half minutes. Is he a good card? Absolutely not. If you know how to use him properly against mediocre and bad players, he will be very usable in every mode. Like, in, except for on Unlimited, he's going to be fine. You know what I mean? But the thing is, I am confident there's about 30 cards at each position that I would be fine using at um, any time and still having success with in any mode other than Unlimited, pretty much. And that's just the way the game is if you have a certain skill set. So if you're good enough at the game, just use the cards you want to play Use at the end of the day. Like, there are people out there who like Andre. Drummond. I'm sure there are, and they want to use them. Use Andre Drummond in every mode except for the sweaty mode, which is really unlimited. Um, for I mean, most people aren't even playing unlimited because it's not fun, and I don't really blame them. Use the cards you want to use. Andre Drummond is usable. He can't shoot the ball. The card competitively sucks, but like he's big, fast, can defend, can dunk, kind of fun to use. If you're an Andre Drummond fan, have some fun with it. Use the card. He's certainly not awful. I just wish he had, like, competitively, looking at him from a more competitive mindset and a more, like, is that card actually good mindset, obviously the lack of shooting ability kind of ruins him, and it is pretty disappointing because I do think there was legitimate potential for a really interesting good card here if he has a 73 ball and an 80 mid-range. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. So I don't know. If they're going to make a bunch of other non-shooting bigs able to shoot, make a guy in Drummond who actually did shoot some threes more than some of these non-shooting bigs who can shoot the ball at least. Make him able to hit a three. Because, yeah? okay, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to go on a little bit of a rabbit hole over here, but I'm just going to briefly make this point. I know y'all don't care that much, but Andre Drummond has like actually shot some threes in his career. There was a couple seasons. There was a season there in Cleveland where he shot like two threes a game. Now, he wasn't efficient, but he shot them. Uh, there's guys who can shoot the ball in this game who have literally never made a three in their career. Andre Drummond attempted 120 so far in his career. It's a lot more than a lot of these other bigs. So I don't know. That's just my thought process. Um, would be nice if they at least gave him a little bit of shooting because he'd be a lot better, but it is what it is. No need for me to really rant, and I am sure y'all don't really care that much anyway. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.